Yo, what is going on guys? It is Uncle Kobe, back with another commentary. Uh, today, I got a few things I want to talk about, but first for the gameplay. Um, as you see, I'm going to start off with a sniper accidentally. Uh, as we all know, I am terrible at sniping, so I switched directly to the M14. Uh, as you can see right here, I get schmanged off the start. Uh, but yeah, I'm using the M14 this game uh, with quick draw, sleight of hand, and dead silence. And for my strike package, I have sit rep, steady aim, and marksman, I believe. Uh, but yeah, this was a pretty decent gameplay. I think I go 30 and 2, 30 and 3, or something like that. Uh, I do play pretty slow, um, but I really just didn't know any of the spawns or, uh, you know, kind of where to go. I was a bit confused. Um, and right here, you're going to see some awesome uh, Infinity Ward uh, host migration. It was just fantastic. Uh, I'm just trying to shoot this guy and all this crap's going on and all that good stuff. But uh, actually, here's a little little cool little tip thing. If you look at the minimap right now, you see there's a guy right to my right. So I'll, in, right here, I was thinking just to jump off and kill this guy. And I immediately start looking for this guy who jumped down right here and got the D. But uh, that's not what I want to talk about. Uh, today I want to talk about Black Ops 2 and you know if it's worth buying. Uh, I know for myself, it really does not matter like what the game is or who makes it. I'm gonna buy it regardless. It could be Call of Duty Rise of the Retarded Rabbits 4 and I'd still be there at midnight you know to picking up the game. But for some of you other guys that might be into other games, not just Call of Duty, and you're kind of on the fence about it whether or not to drop 60 bucks or not, you know, this video is for you. Now, I think it's safe to say that the last few Call of Duties uh, seem to be basically the same game as the year before, but with some new skins and like guns and sound effects and stuff like that. So what exactly will be new with Black Ops 2? Well, let's start off with the actual game engine. Uh, we already know it's going to be the exact same engine that has been used since Call of Duty 4. Treyarch says that they use different engine, uh, a different engine, but, you know, we aren't stupid. The game mechanics have felt the same since Call of Duty 4. And I, you know, they will feel the same in Black Ops 2. Uh, but that could either be a bad thing or a good thing, depending on your stance on it. I personally have no problem with the game mechanics. And compared to other multiplayer FPSs, it runs very smoothly. Um, but there's just a level of repetition that you start to feel, you know, from the look of the game and how it plays. Uh, for instance, if you look into the eyes of, like, a Russian enemy that you would kill in Modern Warfare 3 and compare them to the bad guys in Call of Duty 4, they look pretty much the same. I personally don't care about how they look and that stuff, and I definitely don't care uh, about their eyes. Uh, I'm not really a homo, but you guys can catch my drift. Moving on to the single player, you know, you shoot stuff, you move forward, and you shoot more stuff. That will never change, so I'm just going straight to the multiplayer, which has quite a bit of new features that hopefully will make the game more enjoyable. For one, the whole creative class system has changed. I'm sure all of you know that already with the whole pick 10 system and all the customization. But if you don't, click the annotation on screen and you can be enlightened about that. The next thing is League Play, which is the thing I'm second most excited about for in this game. And I'm not sure if any of you guys have played StarCraft, but in that game there are different leagues that you play in depending on what your skill level is at. And they're bringing that idea into Call of Duty, which I think is just great. You know, having a real ranked playlist is something that I've been waiting for for quite a while. And I think it will actually add a new dynamic to YouTube because if you post like League Play playlist gameplays and you're ranked really high, it just adds to the awesomeness of the gameplay knowing that you're playing against good players. And uh, I'm definitely going to post a lot of League playlist gameplays. Maybe do kind of a road to a loss, road to loss sort of deal like what Wings does. Uh, but yeah, ranked playlist is definitely a plus. Another thing is the new score streaks and how you're going to be rewarded for you know, team based play rather than kills. That's all preference. If you're one of the guys that just enjoy going into ground war games and just getting fat kill streaks, you know, this probably doesn't really interest you. But for me, I like playing for the win and playing objective game modes. So this kind of helps me, you know, somewhat. It's not that big of a deal to me, but you know, it's new, so I thought I'd mention it. But on to the last thing, which is what I'm most excited for, and I'm sure you are all too, and that is zombies. Uh, from the trailer, zombies look totally badass, and they're introducing specific game modes just for zombies that will be played on the multiplayer engine, allowing 4 on 4 battles to be taking place, which will be just insane. Uh, survival is the same zombie mode that players are used to, with like just infinite waves of zombies coming at you on like a tiny map with lots of upgrades and weapons to buy. 
and uh, you rebuild the uh, barriers and barricades to try to improve your lifespan and gain points and stuff like that. Grief is a play on the standard team deathmatch that actually sounds pretty interesting. So two teams of up to four players uh, each populate one map and they're trying to kill each other. However, those teams can actually hurt each other. The only things that can hurt them are the zombies, meaning that the objective of each team is to put the other team in kind of unsurvivable situations while ensuring that the zombies don't eat your brains out in the process. So maps will, um, you know, will provide plenty of opportunities to screw with the other team, like blocking passages and doorways. And just imagine kids raging at you when you trap them in a hallway with like 10 zombies. God, it'll be hilarious. And there's also speculation about a zombie campaign slash story mode kind of deal that you ride around in the bus stopping at various locations um, which are like the levels uh, but whatever zombies look freaking awesome and it's uh, definitely up there as one of the main reasons why you should get black ops 2 but like I said before no matter how new the game is it still will be a call of duty and have that call of duty feel it's just like Apple and their iPhones really like every year they put out a different one that usually don't feel that different you know first from the 4 to the 4s and then from the 4s to a little longer 4s uh, but just like the phone and a couple other things every inch counts and uh, You know what we can all pray for is just a game that's still fun You know six to nine months into it and I'm staying hopeful You know David Vonderhaar is someone that will actually listen to your opinions and uh, will fix the game where he sees fit even after it's released and uh, you know far into the game uh, So do I recommend buying it? Yeah, I actually do uh, I haven't been this excited for a game since like Modern Warfare 2 uh, which was actually kind of a letdown for me. Uh, but for like Modern Warfare 3, I wasn't even thinking about it at this time last year. But for Black Ops 2, you know, I get more and more excited for it with every video I make and uh, every video I see about it. Uh, and I like to think that they will add enough you know, new stuff to make it seem different and make it more enjoyable. But even if it still feels like every other COD and it's just really well put together you know, without all that BS, I think it's going to be a great game. So there it is guys, I'm stoked for Black Ops 2. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please take the time to hit that like button. It only takes a second and it really does mean a lot to me. For two videos you may have missed, on the left is a Black Ops 2 video where I talk about all the LMGs in the game. And on the right is the question of the week. Uh, even if you already answered, go back and leave another one. I'm going to pick this week's winner on Friday night, so take advantage of the opportunity. But anyways, leave in the comments below what Black Ops 2 weapon class you want me to do next. I still have the snipers, launchers, and pistols. So if you have a preference, leave it down below. This was Uncle Kobe. I love you all. Peace.